Good morning. It is Thursday, August the 4th. Today's daily reflection is Seeds of Faith. I printed out the wrong paper this morning, which led me to meet uh, Scott at the bus stop, who was getting ready to go on the bus with an open beer, uh, going to his aunt's funeral. Uh, he apparently lives in a local recovery home. Uh, he did not have a phone number. He was very eager and willing to do an interview. He seems very eager about recovery. And I really pray that I am able to find him. And I will try my best to find him. Check out that video if you didn't already see it. Seeds of Faith, August 4th. Faith, to be sure, is necessary. But faith alone can avail nothing. We can have faith, yet keep God out of our lives. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 34. As a child, I constantly questioned the existence of God to a scientific thinker like me. No answer could withstand a thorough dissection until a very patient woman finally said to me, You must have faith. With that simple statement, these seeds of my recovery were sown. Today, as I practice my recovery, cutting back the weeds of alcoholism, slowly I am letting those early seeds of faith grow and bloom. Each day of recovery of ardent gardening brings the higher power of my understanding more fully into my life. My God has always been with me through faith, but it is my responsibility to have the willingness to accept his presence. I ask God to grant me the willingness to do his will. Today is a perfect example of the seeds of faith being planted in me um, as I was a child, I've said this before, um, I was in Sunday school and I've always been an analytical thinker ever since I was a child. I would take something apart, figure out how it worked, put it back together. If it worked, I'm a genius. When you come to faith, you come to religion, there's no moving pieces that you can take apart and say, ah, this is exactly how it worked. This is how Moses parted the Red Sea, etc., etc. There are no definitive answers in faith as I see them, as far as an analytical thinker goes, you have to be open to let your mind think outside the box. Today I saw the opportunity. I saw a gentleman. I don't know what it is. It's something about, I don't know if everybody in recovery has this, but I can, I can sense people from at least 20 feet away that are either struggling, have a story, been there, or whatever. Um, and I reached out to him. He wanted a cigarette. I was obliged. Um, he was more than willing to talk to me. Unfortunately, the bus came. So I'm going to try to find him, hopefully, because I, I think I have some help for him. Uh, he seemed like a very good guy. He seemed like he was willing to try to make some changes. You know, although getting on the bus with a beer, it's not like we we're all going to say we haven't done anything like that before. But that being said, I feel God's granting me, God is granting me the willingness to do His will. And that's what I'm going to keep on trying to do. When I see an opportunity to um, exercise this, I'm going to do it. Um, in my life and in anyone's lives who touches me. I'm going to leave it off with that. I think people like them nice and short. If you think I'm kind of cutting it short because of me... Let me know, and I'll ramble on for a long time and make it real deep. But I don't feel like that's what this is for. If we want to have deeper conversations, we're always available. I'm going to try and set up a Discord server. I already have one. Just don't know how to use it. Um, and we'll go from there. Maybe we can have someone join in, do like a video chat, and uh, go from there. I know Isaac Kennedy is my first guest. And hopefully we'll get that up and running by the weekend. I love you all. It's going to be hot as hot can be today. They're saying 98 with the humidity of 2,430 degrees. So make sure you wear carbon Kevlar outfits so you don't melt. And that's all I got to say about that. I love you. MIK35959 signing off. And that's going to do it.